Pastor Remington remains in the hospital and his family says he'll stay in ICU for the next couple of days, followed by a couple of weeks in the hospital. His family tells us that Remington was shot six times. One of the bullets shattered his shoulder. Another lodged into the soft tissue of his skull just centimeters away from killing him. And KXY4's Aaron Linda working for you tonight. He's live at Kootenai Health. Aaron, uh, you asked police if they think Odom might be coming back to Coeur d'Alene. Nadine specifically back to the hospital to presumably carry out his plan to kill Pastor Remington. We asked police if they believe that was a possibility. They didn't respond, but they did say that they do have security here tonight. We also know that many people are wondering why this shooter would target this pastor. The memory is still fresh for Allison Campbell. I was sleeping. I had worked graveyard. I was napping on the couch. A slow Sunday afternoon exploding into the sounds of gunfire. This is really pow, 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 real loud. Campbell remembers seeing the altar church pastor Tim Remington lying on the ground. I thought for sure he was dead. I just the number of shots. There was a lot of shots. Remington was injured but still alive. Candlelight associate professor and friend Bub Lawson says it was God's hand that sheltered Remington. I knew of Tim and what he was doing and who he was before I met him. Lawson says Remington was never far away when someone needed help. Helping was his passion, especially those suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Remington started and helped run a rehabilitation program called Good Samaritan. Lawson says he was surprised when he heard about the shooting, but also not surprised. When you're in a ministry like his, you're around people that um, that struggle. Remington's family says the shooter, Kyle Odom, and Remington did not know each other, which only adds to the confusion of why this happened. It didn't seem very gentle when they flipped him over onto that board and put him in there, but I thought I saw his arm moving, and I'm thinking, wow. For Lawson and others, there is a reason. It just hasn't presented itself yet. If you can't believe that God is in control of everything and is involved in everything, you can't go forward. We have been told in the hours following the shooting, more than 200 people gathered here in the cafeteria to show their support for Remington. Last night, more than 700 gathered to pray for Remington. Reporting in Coeur tonight, I'm Aaron Luna, KXLY4 News.